Okay, so this is assignment three um, for systems programming. Um, there's three questions in this one. Um, the first one was about this abort C uh, program, and we had to rewrite it um, using bit manipulation macros that we discussed in the lecture. Um, so this is my code. So we, we start by um, printing out the, the, the process ID beforehand, and then we fork. And then with the child, we, um, we say a little message like, I am the child and I'm now sleeping. We get its ID, and then it goes to sleep. And then we use the abort function. And this basically terminates the child uh, process um, right here so that we're just this this whole program is just showing off this function and then we uh, just print the parent and we say child ID has terminated we get its child ID and we we print out the status of it also and then using these um, we can get the, its its child status, the signal code, and then the core uh, code also. So I'll just run it, and then I just printed all of these uh, variables off at the end. So, and no, oh my gosh, I'll just run it. Um, abort. Okay, so before, I am parent, I am the child, we slept, we slept for five seconds, and then child is terminated. We got its status, so using the status we got child status, signal of six, and the core of 128. Okay, so that was the first question. So question two, um, I'm just going to read it from the handout. Um, using system calls like fork, wait, read, write, etc. Um, create a, a basic arithmetic uh, program, which just adds, subtracts, multiplies, divides um, two numbers. And, and then it has a bunch of steps for us to criteria to uh, follow. So it should write a message saying enter the arithmetic, uh, read a whole line of input, it should fork, and then the child process will be the one operating like, or doing the operations. Um, and then we have to wait for it to finish and stuff like that. Um, and then through that ch child process, we create a child function to do the, the actual math, um, which uses scanf. So we could um, parse the input, the line that we read. <clears throat> and then once all of that's done, uh, we check the return status um, using bit manipulation macros. And if it's 50, 100, or 200, we write different things. Um, and then it loops also. So I'll just show you the program. And here it is. Okay, so this is our child function. Actually, I'll start in the main. So here's our uh, infinite loop. And we say this is a program that makes a simple arithmetic. Enter your arithmetic statement, and then with a little example of what they should write. If it doesn't look like this, then the program will end. But it, just, it should just look like a number, their operation, and then a num another number. So we create a variable to store the line that the user will be inputting. Um, we read the whole line. And then, you know, if there's an error, we exit. We remove a new line character at the end. Um, and then we fork. So if, if the fork goes wrong, there's a forking error and we exit. So in the child process now, we use the function that we created. So if we go back up to the function, 
So we say, I'm the child working for the parent. We get our two variables, uh, the operation, and then the final result, which we will uh, return. Or not return, but anyway. Um, so we use scanf on that, that line that we read and that we passed to the function. And then we uh, we parse it basically. So it should look like one number, one operation, and then another integer. And we store all these. And if it's not three, like here, that's an exit error. So here's um, exit 50, wrong statement. So at the end, um, it would print off a message with this exit code. But anyway, I'll show you that after. And then we just run a little uh, simple switch um, switch case. So if it's an addition, we do the addition. Subtraction, do the subtraction. Multiplication, division. So we have to make sure that they're not dividing by zero. That's what this is. If they do, it's the exit um, code for a 100. Um, or otherwise, uh, just got it. And then also, if they didn't enter any of these operations, like if they use like an ampersand or, you know, just about anything else, that's exit 200, wrong operator. So um, then we just, we use the sprint F to output. <clears throat> and uh, we use all of the variables that we just the one that we created and also the three that we already know. We write it. And that's the whole function. So then, so that was this part. Now back to the parent process. We, uh, it says we created a child to make your operation and then we, we wait. So we wait for it to finish first, right? And then, um, we we get the status of it, but um, on, these will only happen if uh, you know if there was a wrong statement or a division of zero or or a wrong operation. So these are just the error messages. Yeah, and that should do it. I'll run it. Uh, simple. Yeah. So. Here's our messages, example. I'll just do the example, 132. So, created a child operation, and it's waiting. I am the child working for the parent, 34, blah, 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 and we got it, and then it loops. So we got it again, and I could, I could do another one. So I'll go 24 minus eight, 16, yeah. so it loops. I'm just going to exit. So, um, <clears throat> the last one. Uh, so, I'll just read it again. Um, write a C program to execute multiple Unix commands in parallel. Um, so, what we will be doing is... Um, so, we, we get the number of commands... Um, that we specified, and that's just argc minus one, because you know the the first one is this whole thing. So anyway, um, and then we we fork that many times, and each of the child processes will be accomplishing one of the arguments that we pass through the command line. So. Um, we just fork, and then if there's an error, we exit like usual, um, and and then we just say child process, and then <clears throat> and then we we're actually doing it. It should it's just uh, like how do I explain it? Like there's there's many different Unix commands that can be executed. Um, so we just want each of the children to to be um to be responsible for one of the commands 
So it's easier if I just show you um, what it would really look like. Multiple process. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. What did I name this? Okay, I'm going to have to just uh, dot slash. One sec, I wrote it down somewhere. Guess it was just this. So here are the different commands that we will be using ls, pdw, or pwd, and the date. So each of the children should be um, responsible for taking care of one of these. <clears throat> so we will be forking uh, the parent a total of three times within that loop, right? So, if I scroll up, here's what we just wrote, and we say, okay, our first child uh, process will be responsible for, for, for ls, the second one, pwd, third one, date, okay, so um, they might finish in, in different orders, um, but, um, so the first one, this is the, the date. And then this is PWD, right? And then when both of when either of them finish, um, a message will appear. So um, this one, which was responsible for date, so it just says that one has finished. And then this one was PWD, that one has finished. And then this is LS. Child process for LS has completed with status of zero so that just means you know they they were all successful and yeah <clears throat> that's assignment three